Hello everybody, my name is Light Comet, and welcome to Hogwarts! <laughs> I'm excited to play. I know there's a lot of controversy behind this game, I know that, and I know people are going to be saying that I should be careful where I put my money, but hey, I enjoyed this series before the drama, okay? I'm going to avoid it and ignore the drama to the best of my abilities. I just want to have a good time and enjoy the game for what it is. So if you don't like it, you can leave. But to those who want to stick around and enjoy the game, sit down and I'll have a lovely day with me. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic for those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the, mis the Ministry has graciously allowed Professor El Fi Eliza Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle. For the start of term, Feast and Sorting Ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley. Professor Weasley. Okay, I've uh, just finished creating my, um... My character. So, uh... Let's continue um, on this magical adventure! I'm excited. Also, yes, I did get this when it was pre-ordered, so I do remember some stuff from the game, but I don't remember everything. Let's go! Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I don't know who that was, but uh, that happened. I will be quiet for most of this when it comes to like cutscenes of um, them talking, so. If I don't respond a lot, that's why. Because obviously, I want you guys to be able to listen to it. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your travelling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. 
Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh my god. Oh good lord. I know I said it'd be quiet, but that's only when they're talking. Oh, that was something. Okay, I wasn't expecting the dragon in the first half. I knew of the dragon, but I forgot that it was in the first half. Are you alright? Uh, uh, cry. You're hurt. Uh -oh. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Can it fix every broken bone? Ugh. Wonder what that tastes like. What it looks good. George, I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, then. We are into our first real mystery. This is going to be a very long series, by the way, guys, and holy mother of lord. How far did that bookie take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think... The bookie was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that bookie to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. 
If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Ah, okay. Mind your step. Also, I have this set to uh, be performance-wise because I want. Do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, that's the path down below. This way. Okay. But I sir, will. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Hang on, before I continue, is there anything up here? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone oh. wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus oh, I... on the center. Oh, I get to practice wand work? Nice. Okay. Ah, okay. Also, guys, um, I will be going by what my quiz gave me. From the uh, W Games thing. Oh, God. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Ah, up there. Okay. Can I... Nope, okay, I have to wait for you to get your old ass up there. Alright. There was something back here, though. Was there... Oh! Aha! Treasure! Always search for your treasure. We're close now, it's just ahead. Alright. Good god, that is windy. Sorry guys, uh, for cutting most of this out, was uh, fixing some settings. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. <laughs> Okay. Um. A mini match show your surroundings with you, purple in the middle. This yellow is your current objective. Oh, okay. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. 
Okay, good to know. This was an uh, old man's home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this is gonna... this? Professor Fig! This is gonna be a very long series. I just noticed this is a... Oi, get your old ass over here, mate. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Whoa. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Well, the goblin's certainly tired. <clears throat> you weren't exactly coughing loudly the first time. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. Man's got a memory of a goldfish. This way, then. Stay close. No complaints from me, sir. God, imagine being able to summon, like, your car or After something. You. Being able to summon your car or something like that. That'd be so cool. You just whistle for it and it just comes. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Whoa. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You take a breath. Why? Oh! That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Good. Sibling, we've quite a distance to go. Good lord. It's that far down? Vault number... Vault 12! Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. What's that on his arm? on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. 
He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Hmm. Suspicious. Here we are. Right, guys, I'm going to have to... last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Hey, hey fellow outlaws. outlaws. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more of our content on this channel. And maybe leave a like and a little comment. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Chaos. And we hope you enjoy many more to come. So hit that notification bell. And, and we, we will see you guys, guys in the next Star, Star System. System. Bye! Bye.